Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video tutorial, we're going to make a minion. If you've ever seen that movie, Despicable Me, or even heard about it, probably most people have, you'll see these minions over here that run around in the movie. Kind of cute looking. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this, so let's uh, go ahead and get started. Um, if if you don't want to make this particular minion, you can pretty much do any minion that you want. Uh, if you find a photo out there or image out there on the internet, just grab it. And you want to be in your UV image editor and just do an image, open image, and go find that image that you downloaded. Uh, pretty much what we're going to be covering is, is pretty much going to cover just about any minion you would want to make. At least, definitely these here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this minion here. But, I'm going to use this minion's mouth over here, if that makes any sense. So the first thing you can do, if you have the cube in the middle of your blender here, just select X and delete it. And you want to think about what the minion looks like. What, what is the basic shape? Well, it's really a capsule shape, right? Well, in Blender's basic shapes, you don't have a capsule, so what is the closest thing that you would get that would uh, you could start making this minion with and you just looking at the head you can see a kind of a spherical shape so that's what we're going to start with I'm going to do a shift A and choose UV sphere and once you create that just hit T into your tools menu come down to your segments here and I'm going to leave it at 32 but I'm going to bump this up to so let's say 19 Okay, and I'm going to go into one front view, one on the numpad. Okay, so the first thing we can do, let's go ahead and go into the modifiers, and let's go ahead and add the subsurface modifier. And we're going to bump that up to two. And go into tools again and just make it smooth shading. So we have a nice smooth shape. Okay, and I'm going to tab into edit mode here and let's just select faces and I'm going to select in here and just B, use the B key to box select all of these faces back here. However, make sure you turn occlude off so you can get all the faces behind it. Let's do that again. Okay, and I just want to make sure sometimes it doesn't get right in the middle there, which it didn't of course. Okay, and just hit X and delete those faces. Because what we're going to do is we're going to add the mirror modifier. So I'm going to tab back into object mode and add a modifier. And let's choose the mirror modifier. It's already on the X axis. Let's go ahead and turn on clipping. And let's use this arrow to put the modifier above the subsurface just so it applies the mirror before it, it does the subserve. I'm going to tab into edit mode again and we're looking at pretty much how this shape looks. So this is not really as round as this sphere is. It's kind of flattened out and then the bottom is definitely a lot flatter. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go into select the vertex mode here and I'm going to B select all of these vertices and let's move these out and there we're creating as you can tell our capsule shape so while you have these selected let's just do a um, actually before we do that I want to add some more geometry in here because we'll probably need it so I'm going to do a control R and just move the mouse wheel up several times just so you have several probably about seven of those cuts in there and just select select so you'll have just a nice capsule like that. Then come back here and just B box select the top. And I'm going to do a S Z to scale along the top. And just bring that down just a little bit, just so it matches that curvature there. And same thing on the bottom, B box select the bottom here. And I'm going to do a scale S Z. And bring that down yeah, kind of quite a bit there. So that's pretty flat at the bottom there. Something like that. 
okay? But we don't want this crease here, and it's, it's kind of a little bit too, too much of a crease there. So let's Alt select these, this row of vertices here, and hit GG. And what that does is you can move it along that path there, the Z. And I'm just going to kind of move them up a little bit. And same thing with these here, Alt select, GG. Just move those up a little bit. Just so it's a little bit, uh, you get that crease out of there anyway. Okay, so this is our basic shape so far. Now the next thing we want to do is, well we don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it this way. Just to shake things up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add materials as we go along. Just so it'll be a little bit more interesting to look at. So we know this is going to be this yellow color, so let's go over to materials. We want to do a, go ahead and hit the plus mark and do a new. And I'm just going to call this yellow. And come down here, we're going to leave it diffuse and click on your color. And what you can do is you can grab this little eyedropper and select this color here. And that's just an easy way to get your reference image color. Of course, there's a lot of different shades and variations so if you don't get the you know one you're happy with to begin with you can always you know just kinda come in here and just select a different part and if you want to see it in the viewport you have to come down to settings and choose viewport color and you can take that eyedropper again and just choose this one and there you go okay so this is our first material so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the minion's mouth. So I'm going to tab into edit mode and as you can tell the mouth is really kind of a sort of a midway point maybe a little bit lower than the midway point so in order to make that mouth we can go select faces and we'll figure okay it might be right around here so I'm going to select oops, let's turn on occlude here so I don't get those back ones just select two faces here and zoom in here and I'm just gonna e extrude just a little oh, I hit click I clicked my mouse there I didn't want to e extrude just a little bit and select off of that and then e extrude again and just go all the way well not all the way but just a little bit back there and stop about right there leave it selected though come over here and just do your plus mark to add a new material we're going to do a new and we're going to call this uh, just black underscore flat and choose on the color and we're just going to make it black that way it's good enough and we're going to leave it diffuse um, viewport color we can do the eye drop thing again and just select the black there and you want to assign it since we are in edit mode okay so, and that just gives that, you know, the back of the mouth kind of that darkness so you don't see right through to the other side of the, the minion. Okay, so we have our basic mouth, but it doesn't look quite like the shape that we want it. So we need to select vertices. And I'm going to turn off occlude again, just so I can select some of these. And we kind of want to shape it the way it is there so we can... Um, just grab these here and just want to move that up a little bit like that and I'm using the C tool to select these and I got one in the back so I'm gonna use my middle mouse button to deselect that right click to get rid of the C tool and just kind of move that up a little bit actually it's kind of more like a, a curve there right so I might want to leave that kind of like I go down a little bit further and select these here. Pull those down something, something like that. Anyway, you can kind of play it around with it to get it where you want it. But it's kind of the the mouth right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the teeth. I'm gonna go in back into edit mode, tab into edit mode, and let's go into faces. And I'm just gonna select these two top faces there. Okay, and then do a shift D to duplicate them and select off of that. 
and then just do a P to separate them by a selection. Okay, so now they're a separate object, and we're going to tab back into object mode and just click up there, and you should pick up that one little piece there, which is going to be our teeth. Now, while we're doing this also, just to be kind of legal here, go up to your outliner. If you don't have your outliner open, you can open it in one of the windows. It's just outliner. And I'm going to do a control click into here and just name it teeth. While I'm doing that, I'm going to just going to go ahead and control click on the sphere and just name this um, body because it's really the body of the minion. Okay, so this is kind of um, what the teeth are going to be. So I'm going to tab into edit mode here. And I just want to, of course, they're not going to be this thick, so we're going to scale on the Y, SY. Scale them down. Something like that. And then do an E extrude. And they come down, I don't know, maybe that far or something. Okay, and let's go ahead and tab back into object mode and let's take care of that material real quick. We can um, minus these out because we're not using those and just do another new material and call this white. And it's pretty much white already. We can leave it diffuse and the viewport color is white, so we're good. Tab back into edit mode. And let's uh, hit seven on the numpad to go, oops, seven on the numpad to go up to the top. And we can go into our vertex mode and we just want to kind of shape these teeth a little bit better. And I'm gonna use R to rotate this using the C tool to select those and R rotate. And maybe even scale on the Y a little bit. Actually, I'm not getting very far with that. Scale along the Y, something like that. And you can either, even kind of make them conform a little bit to the shape of the mouth. So we're just gonna bring those out like that, just so you have kind of a little bit of a curve there. Okay, so we need to, um, we need to make these, you know, the teeth, the gaps in the teeth. So between the, the actual tooth, two teeth. So I'm gonna do a control R and select in here and just move that over to, to about right there. Same thing over here, control R, move it over to about right there and go back into faces. And what you wanna do is come over to your faces and just alt select in that area there and do an E, select off of that and just scale it down just a little bit. Okay. And over here, let's see. Since this is mirrored, this actually needs to be over a little bit, so I'm going to select the vertices again, alt select this loop, and just hit GG and just move it over. So it's a lot thinner there. Okay, go back into faces. And alt select that. E, scale that down. Okay, so something like that, but now just take the whole thing in object mode. I've tabbed out back into object mode and we just want to do a, a scale X to kind of scale in that way a little bit. Okay, let's tab into edit mode. Do an A select all and we can do a S Z and just to get them a little bit wider. Okay, not too bad. So um, now we can do, uh, let's do the bottom teeth. All you need to do there is just select this do a shift D to duplicate and just click out of that and do a RY 180 enter 
just to rotate along the y-axis and you can move them up till you know wherever you want them there what whatever seems good to you and you could even go inside and you could probably actually delete some geometry here if you wanted to Okay, just so you don't have the extra pieces. Again, you know, it's nice to have the least amount of geometry you can, especially if you're going to be doing animation and things like that. And uh, while you're at it, you may want to come in here and just change this to teeth underscore lower or something. You can change that to teeth underscore upper if you like. Okay, so we're moving right along. So the next thing we're going to look at, let's go ahead and try to create some of this, um, the jeans that these minions are wearing. And if you look at it, we're going to do the straps separately, but if you look at the shape of this jeans, really just kind of a square right here. And then it goes around at the bottom. So let's go back into, tab into edit mode on the body. And make sure I'm in my front view here. And you can see that the top of it's just like just below the mouse, so maybe it starts like oops, let's turn on a clue again. Starts kind of like right here, and maybe goes over to I don't know, but probably about right there. It comes down, let's move, move it down to, and then all this bottom part here is all jeans. So we can hit the C tool and just use the mouse key to select all of these around here. And in fact, we do need to go back into you know, turn off occlude and make sure we're getting the back of this as well. Okay, so looking at the back, uh, we did miss a few, so just select those. Okay, looks good. So that is really the basic uh, part of the genes there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the genes separate. So I'm going to do a Shift D to duplicate and hit P to uh, separate by selection. Okay, and let's tab back into object mode and just select this here. And these are this is actually the genes. And come back up here, Control Shift in there, and we'll just say genes. And while we're at it. Let's uh, go ahead and minus these colors out. We're going to do a new color. We we'll call this jeans color. Uh, again, you can use your eyedropper and get kind of a good representation of maybe what the jean color would be. Whatever you know works for you. We'll stick with that for now. And of course, you can always change that later. And I'm going to change the viewport color also. Okay, so there's our color. Okay, so I'm going to just S scale this a little bit larger. So just bring it out just a little bit. Okay, now you can leave it that way, but uh, depending on what kind of shots you get with this, I mean, it may look pretty thin. So you could also just come over here to your modifiers, add modifier. And let's put a solidify on it. Okay, as soon as you do that, right now it has a, a thickness of 0 0.0100. And that's not too bad, but if we zoom in, we can actually probably bump that up a little bit. Okay, so there is the basic genes. Okay, we do need some legs to this, so let's go ahead and select our genes, go into edit mode. I'm gonna do a control 7 to go to the bottom view. Okay, and we need some legs here. So I'm just going to select probably in this area. Hopefully that'll be pretty close to where the legs can be. And I'm just going to E, extrude. And I don't really want to extrude at too much of an angle because you can see their legs are pretty much coming straight down. 
So I'm just going to make sure I'm in my front view and I'll rotate that a little bit just to get it a little bit straighter. Bring it down. They're very short, very short stumpy legs. So right about there and just I'm just going to hit S to scale those. Let's, let's do a P to separate by selection just so we can so, um, yeah, so that, separate those faces that we just had and I'm going to tab back in object mode and I'm going to select that and I'm just going to call these control click in here shoes okay and let's just move those down out of the way a little bit right now just so we can see them and go into our materials and let's change this we already have a black material so we'll just use a flat black right now we probably would want to use specularity on that but we'll just make them the flat right now okay and the reason I took took them off of that uh, off the jeans off the bottom of the jeans is because once you do that it really makes the edge of this start to be completely square and instead of adding edge loops and things like that, you can just cut it off there. Because once we, you know, butt these shoes up against the jeans there, you're not going to see that hole anyway, so we should be fine. So, since we started on the shoes, why not go ahead and finish those? So let's just go ahead and move that back up a little bit. And go into tab edit mode. And we'll do an E to extrude shoes down a little bit here and kind of funny looking legs I know but I think they'll I think they'll work for what we want them to do I hope so what we need to do is I'm going to turn on a clue here and I'm just gonna grab oh there's only two faces there okay so because I only extruded down that little bit so let me go back into the bottom view Control 7 and I'm just going to R rotate this a little bit and E extrude and I really don't want them kind of pigeon toed there so I just want to come out a little bit like that and yeah, kind of funny looking but we can kind of fine tune this a little bit the select vertices. I shouldn't have really made this black right off because black is probably the worst color when you're trying to deal with trying to select things. You can't really see it. But I'm just going to grab these vertices here and make sure I got all of the ones I need. Okay, and just G kind of kind of eyeball it here. and see what that's looking like and maybe even select the bottom here let's bring them down a little bit A select all of it bring it back up to the jeans okay not the best shoes in the world, but quick and dirty. Okay, so we got our shoes. What next? Let's go ahead and work on these eyes and goggles and things like that. So if you look at the um, goggles, you can tell that they're pretty high up on the face. Of course, uh, if it had a nose, it would be right here. And you got these goggles. So let's go ahead and make a uh, going to front view. I'm going to do a shift A and create a circle and right off I'm going to go into the T menu and I want this to have let's say eight vertices we don't want it to fill but we can align it to view T out of that menu okay so this will be the beginning of our goggles here scale it down a little bit and the, just to let you know, the reason that there's two reasons that I used eight vertices on this. Um, if you go down to six, you know, below eight vertices, and you're using, uh, you're going to add a subdivision surface on this. Uh, if you go any any lower than this, it tends to start showing the um, the edges, 
instead of being really smooth once you add the uh, subdivision surface. So I, t I tend to go at least higher, eight or higher. And also the reason I use eight is because I can R rotate this. And what I want to do is create another another circle here that I'm going to add this to. So just having a flat surface right there makes it easier to add add to it. Okay, so I'm going to tab into edit mode, and I'm just going to do an E extrude. Click off of that and S scale it down to what might be the thickness of the circle here. Okay, and also I'm going to A select all of this and E extrude and give it some, you know, give it some goggle thickness there. Okay, so if I tab out of that, let's go ahead and I'm going to control click here and I'm just going to say goggle. Okay, tab back into edit mode. Make sure we're in the front view, and I'm going to A select everything, Shift D to duplicate, and I'm just going to move this over. Okay, this so this is the beginning of our goggles. Let's move it over a little bit more so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to select faces, and I'm going to delete this face, and Shift select to oh, wrong face, Shift select to delete that face, X delete faces. Okay, so I need these together. So what I'm going to do is B select this one and let's go into vertex mode here. Just move it over like this, get it pretty close to the other ones. And then what you can do is you can either B or C select all your vertices here. Just make sure you got all eight of them selected. And what we want to do is do a, um, if you go, if you hit W, you'll go into these specials and we want to remove doubles. Okay. And when you do that, nothing will happen because we're not, they're not connected. But if you hit your T tools menu, you can change the merge distance here. So just bump that up a little bit and you'll see it removed four vertices and basically welded these together and these goggles as you can see they're welded together so that's what we want okay so now we can go over here to our modifiers add modifier and choose subdivision surface and bump this up to two and make it smooth and kind of T out of that menu and you can see it's pretty close but it's a little bit sharper than what we got here, so all you need to do is tab into edit mode, and we're going to do a control R to add some edge loops, edge loops, and just move it down sort of like that. Control R, move it down sort of like that. It doesn't have to be too much. And the same thing over here, control R, and we're just doing something like that. Okay. So we almost have our goggles. Also, we need to add some edge loops on the side here, just to, as you can see how they're kind of flat. So control R, oops, that wasn't control R. Control R and we are going to just move that up against there a little bit. Another control R. You see the nice thing it's doing is going around the entire object. And up against there. And pretty much the same thing with in here, control R. Actually, we need to do it to both areas probably. One there, control R, right about there. How's that looking? Not bad. Okay, so. We can move this down and move it in front <laughs> where it needs to be. Actually, we can go into seven top view and we'll probably do it a little bit better. Kind of move it in the middle and move it towards his face. Okay, and you can't really see it too well, but he's got some sort of like um, cover here 
that extrudes out from the uh, goggles and probably the modeler was very um, clever and decided to create that instead of trying to bend these goggles around the uh, minion's head. <laughs> so that works out. Uh, another thing that we need to do um, is of course create the eyes but yeah yeah let's go ahead and do that so in order to create the eyes I'm just going to select the body go into edit and I am going to B box select this area here do a shift D to duplicate and P by selection tab back into object mode select that and just lift it up this will be like our basis for the eyeball and um, let's do a RX90 scale it down with the S key okay and of course we got to change the textures around a little bit and in fact I think what I'm going to do with this one uh, let's go ahead and change the um, name up here to eyes okay I'm going to go ahead and apply the mirror so that won't get in our way and I'm going to go to materials and remove those two and add white and then we need a couple of other materials in there so I'm going to go into edit mode here and we will figure well oh, this is going to be a big eye <laughs> but um, I'm going to say that let's choose faces and I'm just going to C select all these faces holding down the left mouse key or this, you know, whatever your selection for the mouse is and this is going to be brown and you may say well you can't really create brown in blender or make that color material well actually you can so I'm going to do a plus here new material and I'm going to call this brown and go to the colors here we're going to leave it diffuse for now and in order to make brown just come down here to something that looks sort of like tan or whatever and then just make it darker and then you can kind of play around with these colors and make it look pretty brown and same thing we can change the viewport color here okay and assign it okay so there's our kind of the, the eye color there and then I'm just going to see select oops, select off of that and C select the middle and of course this is going to be black so new material and we already have black so we'll just choose this black and assign okay so like I said probably gonna look like a big eye there so maybe also wouldn't be a bad idea at least on mine is to go ahead and select all of this again actually an easy way is select the brown and select the black okay and I'm just gonna scale uh, actually you know I'm going to I don't want to scale along the Y well it won't anyway because I'm in the front view so I'm just gonna scale and just bring that down a little bit so it looks hopefully more normal <laughs> and the other thing that probably needs to be done with this select the whole thing a select and scale y s y and just make it a little bit a little bit more pointed like that and go back into our front view and just move it down into hopefully where it needs to go and we can see that these goggles are yeah, pretty big on the head so actually we can probably take these and S scale them up a little bit that may be too much something like that okay 
pretty funny right now. And I'm just going to select this eye and just kind of move it into place, hopefully where it needs to be. Yeah, something like that. Don't want too much of that yellow showing through. Okay, just going to make it easier and go do a Shift A and I'm going to create an empty and just make it a plain axis. Make sure that your 3D cursor is in the center there. If it's not, do a Shift S and put cursor to center before you do that. Okay, so the empty looks like this and I'm going to call it empty underscore mirror and select the eye again and instead of messing around with the axis I'm going to use it as a mirror object choose empty mirror and there's our mirrored eye okay so looks like they are out a little bit too much so we don't want them hitting the glass that's going to be in there maybe actually can rotate them or something a little bit <laughs> okay so there's our eyes um, I need to put the glass in there so let's go ahead and do that so in order to do that what I'm going to do is go into tab into edit mode on the goggles choose vertex there and Actually, the one that I have selected there is fine, but if you don't have one selected, uh, we just want, want the edge of one of these. Okay, and I'm going to Shift D, duplicate that, and just S scale inward. Sorry, E extrude and then S scale inward. And then you can do an Alt M at center to merge all those vertices. And come back to your faces and just select those faces. Okay, and I want to do a. Um, let's go ahead and do the materials. So go to materials. Do, oh, by the way, this um, the goggles themselves, we didn't do the material, and that's going to be sort of like a stainless steel chrome type of material. So let's tab back into object mode. Let's do a new material. We're going to call this, uh, I'm just going to call it stainless steel. And let's just make it kind of gray right now. And let's use a glossy and make it 0.2. Okay, so that's going to be the base color of the goggles. Now we tab back into edit mode, and while this is still selected, we want to do a new material. And this is going to just be glass. And we can actually just use the uh, glass that's there and assign. And we need that over on the other side as well so let's just do a shift D and just move it over there probably should have did that with the mirror but we can kind of hopefully make sure that it's uh, where it needs to be Okay, and then uh, we need to create this uh, area around the goggles, so let's go ahead and select the goggles, tab, tab back into edit mode, and what we need to do is come in here, let's select vertex, and just alt select this it, uh, outer loop here, and I see that's not going all the way around, unfortunately. So let's shift alt select if we can. 
the other one. Just want to make sure we get all of that. And I'm going to do an E extrude and just move that back just so it kind of goes into the um, into the body of the minion there like that like so and then what you can do is select faces and we just want to see select all these faces around here okay and then go into add a material we already have brown so I'm just going to select down here and choose our brown and assign okay so we have something that looks sort of like that right now and if you notice you might be able to notice in this picture that has sort of like some studs going around there I'm not gonna mess with those I mean you can add them if you want to but that's a little bit more detailed than this simple uh, tutorial that we're going through okay so we got eyeglasses we got the mouth we got the jeans uh, we do need arms on our poor little minion so I'm going to select the body, tab into edit mode, and let's go ahead and turn on occlude, three into side view, and just looking where the jeans are and the mouth and everything, it's pretty, pretty even with the jeans because these straps go up. So I think the arm would be probably something like right here. And that's probably in itself too big but we'll start with that so the way I'm gonna make this arm is I'm just going to do e extrude and then come out drop it down Let's see what this is doing Just rotate, e extrude, G move, R rotate, and let's select vertices. I'm just going to C select these, move them up, turn off occlude, select these here, just G move those in, and basically now we just want to kind of um, adjust these vertices so that they're in the right place. and the right size and all that. Scale it down. How's that looking? And maybe scale down a little bit too far. Scale on the Y a little bit. Kind of a flat arm there. <laughs> but it's supposed to be round, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and scale it in, but we'll go ahead also... Alt-select these, scale that in and then we can kind of play with these as well SY scale those in SY okay C select all these and you can see that the arm extrudes down to right there just before the end or just where that pocket's at so I'm just going to actually extrude and just you can see it's per very close to the body there so I want to try to do it like that make sure we get it everything proportional as best we can anyway I'll select this and just rotate it so it's straight Okay, still looks kind of flat looking to me, so. Oh, 
My arms are actually pretty, pretty small on these guys, looks like. Uh, scale it down. Scale X. Actually, that's part of the problem. What I'm doing is I'm scaling down everything. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing here. Scale X. Oops. Okay, close enough for now. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on the shoes. I'm just going to choose P by selection and tab into um, object mode and grab that there and we're going to name this uh, gloves get rid of the yellow and we already have a black so we'll leave it as black and tab into edit mode and we can start working on the gloves so they're a little bit bigger than the arms so um, I'm just going to scale it up just move it up a little bit there E extrude. So we're extruding down. And then you have some, um, you basically have like three fingers there, was what it looks like to me. So what I'm going to do is scale down some more and maybe scale. I'm sorry, extrude out and scale out. And maybe move it down a little bit more. See how it looks. Yeah, it doesn't look very big, does it? Okay, I'm going to extrude again. Scale out. Maybe scale on the Y a little bit. Okay, go back into faces. And let me go ahead and make this white for the time being just so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what we need to do is create three fingers and Really, we probably want them along the bottom of this, but you don't really see them too much. You just see kind of fingers sticking out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a finger, this as a finger, and this as a finger. So, and I'm going to extrude these separately. So just E extrude out a little bit and E extrude again. Same thing with this. It's going to be kind of separate. E extrude, E extrude out again. Kind of move them a little bit, a little bit uh, differently than what they are. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this. Maybe this is like their thumb because it does look like they have opposable thumbs. And e extrude, maybe rotate a little bit, e extrude out, and just kind of see what that looks like. Doesn't look very good at all. Probably because, um, I mean, you kind of get the idea that they have kind of some knuckles here a little bit. So, really, this is too stumpy. Um, in order to fix that, what we can do is just kind of grab. Let me go into side view here. And C select these vertices. Scale them move that up a little bit, scale, kind of move it inward. So you kind of get the impression that they're kind of, you know, bent back like uh, like their hands are. A little bit, I mean, not perfect there. But really, I mean, if you want to, if you're really doing a, you want to get it real good, of course you're going to spend a lot more time on it, just moving around things and playing with how it should look. And you'll probably be spending more time than I am on this, of course, but so 
we do want to see a little bit of you know what those fingers are doing or sort of doing or whatever so we need to move something out here that looks that's not going to look too stupid but at the same time give you the impression that there's some fingers behind there and I'm just looking at the the other one here just to get an idea of what it's doing uh, the other thing is I can tell is this needs to come out a little bit and maybe even do something like bend this up a little bit okay which one are you seeing say if we get a shot like this we see that finger there so that would be this one here so what we can do is control R put an edge loop there and then select the end here, just kind of bring it up a little bit. Okay, something like that. Of course, like I said, you could just tweak it and make it look normal. Of course, mine doesn't look that great right now, but um, kind of what what we're doing for the gloves. And you may also notice there is sort of like a band around those gloves. And you can do something like that. Um, you just add like an edge loop here. Go in there, go into faces. Alt select the faces. And just do an E extrude and scale down a little bit. E extrude again. Scale down just a little bit. And then what you can do, of course, is you can give that a different material. And I might just leave that white. Just so we can see the difference. Um, so I'm going to select this. Oops. Okay, select all that. So we're going to leave that white, so what I'm going to do is Control i to select everything else besides that. Choose the black and assign. Okay, and then uh, need an edge loop there just to shore up that. Um, material from bleeding out. Okay, something like that, and you could probably make it a little bit, you know, grayer or something. Okay, so now we're missing those straps on the jeans. Okay, so how do we get those straps? Well, we could create a plane and bring it up there and try to weld it around the body, but why make things harder on yourself than you need to? So, just like we did for the uh, eyeballs, we're going to borrow from the body. So, um, I'm going to select the body, tab in edit mode and select faces and we'll say that this area right here is probably good for straps so turn on occlude there and I'm going to select these faces along here okay Shift D to duplicate. Hit P by selection. Okay, tab back into object mode and select that. Those are the straps, so we want to come up here, name them straps. And we can go ahead and give them the, the blue jean color material. Alright, so we need to kind of shape them a little bit. The nice thing is they're already, if we look at our modifier, they're already uh, subsurfed, they're already mirrored. Um, 
they are not solidified, but we can do that in a minute. So I'm just going to tab into edit mode and just kind of move these out a little bit and use choose a vertex and we're just going to kind of like just um, try to make these look like the straps that they are there. In fact maybe what we could do is three in the side view and let's go into proportional editing and turn on enable and let's see if I can mouse wheel size this down a little bit okay and um, choose faces I'm just going to select these two here and just pull that up a little bit and instant strap a select all of it bring it down okay now we can go ahead and let's tab back into object mode add modifier and we can add our solidify just bump that up a little bit and maybe even scale a little bit just so it's kind of coming out where it needs to be okay so there's the uh, jean straps now of course you can add a button on there but that might even be um, something that you want to do as far as a texture. I'm not going to texture anything, but uh, just for this basic um, minion here, you can just make a, like a cylinder if you like and just throw it on the end there and give it the uh, black material. But I'm going to leave mine as it is. And um, then we need some goggle straps. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to borrow from the minion body. So I'm going to come over here and uh, I don't really like the way this is right here, but I think what I'm going to do make these closer to what the straps look like. I'm just going to alt select this here. GG. Oops, let me turn off my proportional editing. Disable. GG. And something about right there. And go back to faces and alt select those faces shift D to duplicate T by selection tab back in object mode select your straps there come up here enable them um, goggle straps or if you want to you can actually make them part of the goggles which might make more sense too and uh, what I'm going to do is just want to, I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm just going to bring these out because I don't need all of these faces. Probably need that one. So I don't need, uh, and I don't need it clipping right now, but anyway, I'm going to. Um, select all those X delete faces a select again come back in and I need to, actually I need to get rid of that face of course and I just Z went Z into wireframe mode and uh, does go all the way around his head I'm sure so I'm just gonna leave that one bring it back in something like that okay we already got the subsurf on it we got it mirrored I'm going to um, do a control R edge loop put about right there another control R edge loop about right there select faces come here alt select these faces and just going to E extrude and scale inward a little bit. E extrude, scale inward a lot more. Okay, see what that looks like. Not too bad, but we need some thickness. Sort of like, um, look like, looks like the uh, straps that you would wear on uh, like uh, swimming goggles. 
But uh, I'm going to add the uh, solid solidify modifier. Just give it a little bit more thickness. Not too much. Just kind of see what that looks like. It's kind of screwing up around here because of the mirror modifier, but that's okay. A select everything. Let's scale it up a little bit again. And go ahead and let's give this another material. Can, oops. Go in object mode and remove these materials and we're going to do a new material and we're going to call this rubber just because if you were um, you know you're making these things look exactly like they should uh, that would be a different material and I'm just going to make this one a little bit gray and I'm going to leave it as diffuse right now and so we can see it alright so it's a little bit too small still Scale it up. There we go. Not, don't see the body going through there. This will get fixed once we uh, apply the mirror modifiers. Hopefully. Okay, so there is a minion, believe it or not. Not the greatest looking one, but we're not completely done either. So let's take a uh, see if we can get a um, render of this. Make sure that you've been saving your. Um, model as you went along of course I didn't mention that but hopefully you know that so if you don't have a camera already just do a shift A and create a camera and you want to try to position it so you get a good view once you have it positioned where it looks like it should be you can come over to another window and hit control zero and that'll show you what your camera's pointing at if it's not pointing at the right direction just kinda R rotate your camera around until you got it where you want it. In fact, mine, I'm going to G move and R rotate and go into the front view, move it down a little bit, go into three side view, kind of rotate. You can also rotate over here if you need to. Rotate the camera quite easily that way. And actually he's kind of, it's kind of looking at straight at him or something like that. So maybe something like this. Sort of okay so there he is and let's give him a backdrop I'm going to do a shift A I'm going to create a plane and I'm just going to S scale that a little bit and drop it down just so it's right underneath its feet <laughs> his feet so um, just move it so it's barely touching 7 top view scale it up quite a bit okay and we are going to give that plane actually let's call it backdrop we're going to go to modifiers and give it the subdivision surface 2 and tab into edit mode do a control R move that forward select vertex and select the vertices back here go into three side view E I'm just going to extrude this a few times upward. Something like that. Okay, tab back into object. And we need to uh, smooth it. Okay, and you can uh, go into 7 top view and scale that up. And we want to give it a material, so I'm going to come over to materials do a new material and we're going to make this a velvet and whatever color background you would like you can do something like what they got there if you would want to and I'm just going to R rotate it and what we want to do is we want it to cover this camera area so you can see there's some points here that are not covered so we will scale it up way up so it's covering everything all right, so that is our backdrop. Now we need some light. I do have a sun and a lamp here, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to X delete that. And I'm going to do a Shift A, create another plane. Let's move that up. Scale it up a little bit. Make sure it's not getting into your camera view. And I'm going to call this lamp underscore top. 
and let's go into our materials, a new material, and uh, let's call this same thing, lamp underscore top. And we're going to give this an emission material, and let's make this 2.5, and there's our emission. Okay, so we're almost ready to take a screenshot. I'm going to save this. And I know this, this glass and the eyes aren't going to work yet. I don't think so. But anyway, I'm going to do, go ahead and do a uh, render to see what this looks like. And there's our minion. Not the best looking minion in the world, but there are, of course, a lot of things we can do to improve this. Uh, one of the main things, of course, is doing texturing and in materials. Another thing that it definitely needs is it definitely needs some work on the mouth just to get the uh, expression right because right now it uh, looks kind of uh, shocked, <laughs> I would say. Okay, so what else can we do? There's a few, few more things that we can do to finish this up. Um, I guess first of all, uh, one, one of the things that we forgot here is the hair, so that's easy enough. What we can do is I'm going to do a Shift A and just create a cylinder, go into the T menu, and we can leave it at 32. Uh, fill type, just put nothing because we don't need that to fill. Um, line of view is fine. So we can take the cylinder just as it is and move it up here. And in fact, we can call this hair. And scale it way down. Scale it along the Z, S, Z. And let's go ahead and just smooth that. We don't need to add a uh, modifier to this. It's going to be small and look smooth enough. So I'm just going to B box select this and S scale that down. And tab out of edit mode and we're going to add a new material and we're just going to use the brown material on that and scale it down again quite a bit and let's go into 7 top view and I can't see it because I have my uh, top lamp here so I'm just going to hit H to hide that and let's go back to the piece of hair here and just G move this see if we can get this moved into place here and tab into edit mode make sure you hit A to select all shift D to duplicate and G oops, shift D to duplicate and G to move it around and just duplicate a few of them around here. Nothing fancy. But then we can go back into front view. And you can kind of position position them around if you like. Okay, something like that. And uh, so that's the hair. As you can see, they don't really have much hair up there. So uh, next, let's look at these goggles a little bit. There's some things that we need to correct. One thing um, that I did differently is I changed the stainless steel material. So if we go into the node editor, this is what I'm using for the stainless steel. I just added brightness contrast. So shift a and add add a node and it's going to be under color you got the bright contrast and then for the glossy it's a shader so you have you want to add the uh, 
glossy shader. Also, you want to add a mix shader, and then you have your material output, and you just want to hook those together like this. Okay, so the other thing about the goggles that I don't know why I did this, but wasn't a very good way to do it. Um, the glass on the goggles, so let me select this, and let's just select, I'm going to come over here to the materials, select glass, and I'm just going to move them back just a little bit here. Not where it's not hitting the eye. And then I'm going to C, deselect one of them here. And I'm just going to S, scale it up. Make it a little bit bigger so it's you don't see the edges of that glass because it wasn't looking too good. Okay, and C, select this one. Same thing, just scale scale it up not quite that big something like that oh, and another thing if you want to make this a little bit closer to the picture if we go back to the uh, image here do a control R loop cut if you put a loop cut there and go into your vertex deselect that one and scale along the X you can pull those in a little bit just so it kind of has that curve there and of course if you do that you may have to kind of fill around with your glass too to bring it over if you go too far okay so there's our minion uh, pretty much complete and say that what if you wanted to create the other one really really quick so what I'm going to do is just B box like this one Try that again. B box select without the shift key. Okay, I don't want the background. Make sure I don't have anything else selected. And I'm just going to do a shift D and duplicate our entire minion. Gonna have to fix his eye there, but that's okay. So put him like right there. And we're going to make him with a one big goggle eye. So Select his goggle here, go into edit mode, and it's going to be, actually let's do faces. Let's see if I can B, select all these faces, X, delete faces, okay, go ahead and select this eye and apply the mirror on this one. and tab into edit mode select all that X delete the faces so we will only have the one eye and we can bring the origin to geometry and I'm going to do a shift A mesh create a circle T go to T menu and give it eight vertices and we can align that to view and just move it into place here scale it down something like that go into tab edit mode e extrude scale it in Select all, E extrude, scale it back, something like that. Oh, how did I get turned like that? Not sure what I did. Okay, anyway, uh, so one view, let's just make sure that it's kind of in the middle there. And I am just going to Alt select this outer ring here shift D scale it up a little bit move it inward and actually scale it down e extrude scale it back okay and let's go ahead and add the subsurface
and we want to smooth it and we need to add some edge loops control R did with this thing but okay just like that move it over and let's see just like that e extrude down a little bit and can I L select yes okay I'm going to select that and go to materials and just assign the brown material to it. Come back over here, I'll select this one and add our stainless steel material. Assign that. Okay. And lastly, just going to grab, go into vertex mode here, grab this here. I alt select in. Shift D to duplicate, E to extrude, S to scale, Alt M to merge those vertices at the center. And go back into faces and I'm just going to select these faces. And give it the glass material. and scale it up just a little bit and move it inward just a little bit okay so then we got our straps here go into edit mode there and okay so select the ends there make sure you have all those vertices selected go into 7 top view and I'm just going to G Move them along here. Turn out a little bit. And I just added a edge loop in there by using Control R. Okay. Something like that. Not perfect, but. And of course you can uh, change the mouth around a little bit. select the teeth and move those up where those need to be just kind of mim make it mimicking that one a little bit of course oops. You kind of go in like that something like that Move some vertices that I didn't want to. Okay, so there we have it. Now, what you can do, of course, is select all of this guy here and go into top view and just kind of rotate him into place. And of course, if you want to, you can work on making him shorter like he is there or whatever. And there we have our two minions. Another thing that we might do is, let me uh, unhide my light panel. I'm going to add another light panel. Shift A, create a plane. And I'm going to scale along the X, SX. 
And looking from the side view, number three on the numpad, I'm going to G, move it over, rotate it a little bit, and I'm going to go into materials, do a new material, and I'm going to call this side lamp, and give it an emission, and just give it like something like 1.5 strength. And it's going to be right there in the middle um, in the way of the camera. So what you can do is go into your object data here. I'm sorry, into yeah the object data and into ray visibility and turn off camera. That way it won't see it. And in fact, while you're there, just select this one and you can do the same thing there. Okay, the reason I'm doing that is just I want to try to give the uh, glass some kind of a glare. See how that looks. Save it and let's do a render and see what it looks like. Okay, so there you have your minions. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you end up creating some minions using this tutorial, I'd be happy to see them. I've Bet they would be much better than what I come up with uh, trying to do things quickly but um, feel free to leave some comments subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching